How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone. I used to be part of a crime family in New York, and like any father, I wanted to see if my son was cut out for the family business. But you can't just jump into extortion, racketeering, and murder. You gotta take baby steps. See that guy delivering papers on your block? Your turf? Don't you want a piece of that action? Go. Uh, there you go. Look out! Ooh. He's supposed to beat the kid up and take his money. What's he doing? He's working, Jimmy. Makes me sick. Okay, so we find someone weaker. Build the kid's confidence. See that old deadbeat? He's behind on his payments. Take care of him. My first assault was an old guy, too. Look at him. This is humiliating. Ow! What the hell? What's this about you grooming Petey to take over the family business? What? No! I can't believe you picked him over me! It's not like that! Fine! One day, I'm gonna start my own crew, and I will bury you, fat man! Anyhow, I realized Petey wasn't cut out for gangster. No sh Sherlock. But hey, now that I live in Regina and work in an office, maybe my son will finally follow in my footsteps. Actually, Pop, I'm gonna be a physicist. Yeah, right. Like you could ever be a gym teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the Gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Crime to be crime. What's it look like I'm doing? Giving birth? Oh, I can't see. Ow. Ow. Okay, there's definitely a wall on your right side. Screw it! Now go on foot! Go on without me, Jimmy. Leave me to die. Oh, come on! You can't... I just need a case of beer! I can't believe you left me back there to die. We didn't make it. It's closed. Kill me now, Jimmy, please. <laughs> Hey, McCool, when I agreed to move to Canada, nobody told me the government controls the liquor. They also control gambling, medical marijuana, and heroin injection sites. No matter what your vice, Canada's got you covered. Why can't I get a freaking bottle of booze after 9 p.m.? Jimmy, the days of drive through liquor at alcoholic enabling prices are behind you. Mother Canada is here to save you from yourself. For Canada, where no one has fun after 9 p.m. <laughs> Except in Quebec. Yeah. Oh, cheer up. One night without a few drinks ain't gonna kill ya. That ain't the point! Nobody tells me when I can and can't enjoy a drink. Well, looks like Mother Canada just did, ya big baby. Screw this, I got an idea. Back in Prohibition days, how did people get booze? Mama used to blow sailors for a bottle of gin. Which way to the docks? <laughs> For the last time, I didn't take your cheap gold-plated earrings that are only worth six bucks at the pawn shop. It's not that. It's my report card. I'm acing all my classes, straight Ds, except I got this one F. You're failing P.E.? <laughs> Who the hell fails Jim? Jim? I thought P.E. was a bathroom break. Anyway, if I fail, I fail the 11th grade. Coach says the only way I can pass is to sign up for an intramural sport. If you ask me, the only sport we're signing up for is hockey. It's got speed, blades, and fighting. I don't know. You're right. Look at the bright side. After you fail, you and Petey can be in the same grade. Yeah, you can be lab partners, sharing a locker, eating lunch at the nerd table. Stop it, stop it, I'll play hockey. Ah, but it's gonna suck to have three periods. <laughs> You boys do realize the liquor store's open again. We don't need them no more. Mother Canada can blow me. 
Well, don't come crying to me if drinking that crap makes you go blind. Jimmy, if we do go blind, can I get a monkey? Hey, this beer ain't half bad. Half bad? It's whole good. What a relief. Now we don't gotta throw all this out. Oh, for crying out loud, I am getting sick of you two sitting around drinking beer all day. You wanna be bums? Go do it in the garage. We can't. Cause the garage is full of beer. Oh! 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 Well, could you at least quit using our living room as your own personal clubhouse? Why are you getting on our case, Cook? We ain't hurting no one. Oh no? What about the example you're setting for the kids? Nah, they know better than to sit around drinking like degenerates. What are you looking at, old man? You want to fight? I'll fucking fight ya! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this place sooner. It's right next door and no one's lived here for months. It's gonna be perfect, our own personal clubhouse. I always wanted to have a man cave that wasn't, you know, an actual cave. Okay, let's work on the fundamentals. You mean skating and teamwork? Nah, forget all that. First off, both ends of your stick come in handy. <laughs> See? It's easy to make that one look accidental if you're keeping up appearances. Now later, when you're not, this is called shirting. Do this on the street, you get five months. In here, you get five minutes. God, I love this game. Once we get power, we should put in a big screen TV and a jukebox. And a bubble machine, Jimmy. Nothing says man cave like a bubble machine. I thought this place was empty. It's supposed to be. Come on. Hey, maybe it's one of them polter ghosts. You mean Geist? What the hell's a Geister ghost? Ah, there's nothing here. <laughs> How's it going, eh? Who the hell are you? And what are you doing in our clubhouse? I'm Mike, that's Ricky, and this here's Kenny. Thanks for giving me one of my beers. It's ghost beer now, Jimmy. Let it go. Something tells me you're not the new owners. Well, no. We smelled fresh brew, door was open, the mat said welcome. Would have been kind of rude not to come in, you know? Well, you guys are still trespassing. <sighs> come on, fellas. Let's go find a snowbank where we can drink in peace until the cops come. <laughs> Don't worry, Kenny. We'll find a warm place to drink this amazing beer. <laughs> really? You guys like it? Like it? It's the best. It's even better than what you get at the beer store. And I bet around here, we wouldn't have to worry about being cut off because we're all intoxicated. Or because they're closed. I know what that's like. You know what? Make yourself at home, boys. Cheers, fellas. Welcome to our club, where men are free to do whatever they want to do. What the hell are you doing, Cheech? I'm taking a dump on the floor. Yeah. Freedom! <laughs> okay, we'll keep the party going till you guys get back, okay? <laughs> nice bunch of guys. Hey, McCool, what are you doing here? I felt bad about denying you and Cheetah's alcoholic tendencies the other night, so I'm here to show you that we Canadians still know how to have a good time. But not a long time, I have to work tomorrow. Sorry, McCool, we're drunk out. We've been partying with our neighbors all night. Great giddy lee! <laughs> Those are hosers! What the hell's a hoser? Allow me to enlighten you with this National Film Board of Canada educational film. The great Canadian hoser evolved under the harshest of winter conditions, but Homo hoserectus has proven himself a survivor. This meek creature got his name from having to flood or hose the ice after losing each hockey game. The hoser's inability to attract breeding partners has resulted in a steep decline in its population. Their struggle for survival is compounded by encroaching subcultures of emos, metrosexuals, and white people who like hip-hop. 
Today, sightings of this plaid-shirted nincompoop of the North are increasingly rare. For more information on the hoser, contact the Heritage Protection Council of Canada or visit your local beer store. Gentlemen, we are in the presence of a wonder of nature. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah! That was excellent! <laughs> Hurts. I can't do hockey. Yes, you can. Just pretend the other team's a bunch of crazy broads at a shoe sale. Now get in there and take what's yours. How'd I do? Not bad. Next time, don't hold back. Okay, this game is called Brewski Roulette. One of these beers is loaded, so you randomly pick one and open it near your face. <laughs> Ow! Oh, 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 yeah! <laughs> you been hosed, you hoser. <laughs> now. Oh! No, 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 this next game is choice. Okay, so like you take a nickel, eh? You put her between your cheeks, okay, and you get a clench on, right? And you just, like, you know, give her. Whoa! <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you play bum darts. We have much to learn from your people. I think it went up. Oh. That's cheating! <laughs> Two minutes for spearing. That's it. You're a growing girl. Yeah, hit her! We're not playing in Europe! <gasps> Cook, we'll be next door, eh? Again? That's the third night this week. I know, eh? But for the first time since we moved here, I met some fellas I can really relate to. Look at yourself. You can't walk two steps without breaking into a sweat. You smell like the floor of a saloon. And if you say A eh, one more time without meaning the first letter of the alphabet, I'll twist your nuts off. I can still go, right? <laughs> Come on, Cookie. I'm just going over there for a quick round of bum darts. Jesus, it's worse than I thought. Oh, it's not what you think. It's just a fun little game. Jimmy, think back to the old life. When you were hanging around the club with your friends, did you guys ever play games that involved your butts? <sighs> now you put it like that, it sounds all kinds of wrong. Warm up the TV. I'm staying in. But first, I got to throw out all our nickels. <laughs> Oh, hello. You must be one of Teresa's many, many boyfriends. Petey, it's me! Have we met before? I can't quite place you. Well, better get back to the books. Nice meeting you. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> What's happening to me? Hey, Jimmy! Jimmy! Just ignore them and they'll go away. What's the opposite of ignore? Because that's what I'm about to do. What are you idiots doing? I'm trying to watch TV with my wife and you're breaking my windows. We just want you to come over, Jimmy. Kenny got fireworks. We're going to set them off in the house. Normally, I'd bust your head open, but you get a pass because you're mentally challenged. Ooh, take off your dress, lady, and come party with some real men, eh? All right, I'm warning you now, and you only get one. <laughs> That's it! Yeah! Oh, Jimmy, I can't allow you to assault these gentlemen. What the hell are you doing? I reported the hoser sighting to the Heritage Protection Council of Canada, and they have proclaimed this land to be a national preserve, a protected domain for the endangered hoser peoples. Are you freaking serious? I'm as serious as an Adam Agoyan film. Oh, I think he just called Jimmy a gonad. They're here to stay, Jimmy, and you, I'm afraid, are trespassing. 
What? Jimmy, check out these birthday candles from Rome that Kenny gave me. And it ain't even my birthday. Ah! Ooh, that smarts. Ah! Ow! Jesus, another one. Oh! I think that's the last one. Marona, those Romans know how to party. these freeloaders living off the government like a bunch of war widows. Those stinking widows get all the breaks. <laughs> Ow! What the hell? Hi, Pop. Petey, what are you doing up there? I'm observing the neighbors for an anthropology paper. Hosers in the mist. I've collected fascinating data on their nesting patterns. I'm hoping to analyze a sample of their droppings. Some of them droppings are mine. How long you been up there? This is day six. You're hiding up a tree, spying on three men. Is that something I need to know about you, kid? No, but could you empty my pee jug? Whoa! Turn off the... Yo, McCool, tell these morons to turn their music down. I wish I could, Jimmy, but Canadian classic rock from the 80s is their cultural birthright. Would you tell an Indian not to bang a drum? A Quebecer not to eat poutine? An Albertan not to marry his cousin? Oh, my parents were cousins. No, wait, siblings. Hey, Jimmy, I got someone who wants to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Looking good, Mike. All right, if we can't touch these guys, we're just gonna have to drive them out. You want me to get the car? No, I want you to turn on the hose. <laughs> Let the ice-related injuries begin. <gasps> Ow! Uh, Cheech, give me a hand here. Yeah, sure, Jimmy. I'll do... Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Ow! Hey! Wow! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Jimmy. How the hell are you staying on your feet? The old beer cap on the boot. What a noble people. They use every part of the beer. All right. We're gonna cut their power, because if I gotta listen to Raise a Little Hell by Trooper one more time, I'm going on a shooting spree. What the? <laughs> Wily bastards. Time to play hardball. Nothing drives people out like good old toxic waste. That's probably what drove my third wife away. Yeah, Cheech, toxic waste in your Brooklyn apartment. Beauty, eh? It's like the Northern Lights landed. You get the beer, I'll get the Kim Mitchell. That's it! One of us has got to go. So here's the deal. One game of Brewski Roulette. Mano a hozo. If I win, you guys move away and never come back. Oh, you're on, eh? But if we win, we get your house. My house? All right, fine. Either way, I get you mooks out of my life. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, and don't get cold feet. Oh, we won't. I can't even feel my feet. What are you doing? You should be suiting up for the big game. Ah, I'm not playing. I'm out. I already got my PE credit. Are you kidding? You got a beautiful thing in your grasp, and I ain't letting you throw away my big chance. Your chance? How is this about you? Shut up and put on your skates, Frankenstein. If you like hockey so much, why don't you play? Because they won't let me. I don't want to give you the gory details, because there's a lot of them. But I got banned from hockey forever. Apparently, the only blades you can use are the ones in your skates. Oh, Gina, I had no idea. Why would you? You're as dumb as a post. But you sure do shine on that ice. What a waste. Maybe I got one more game in me. You do? For you, I do. It's just the Moose Jaw Milkmaids, bunch of farmers' daughters. I'll cream them for you. You're the best, sis. All right, cut it out. You're being scratching me. According to the official rules of Brewski Roulette, scratched in the bar at Jerry's Tavern in Thunder Bay, three beers in the case are loaded. First one to spray two beers in his face loses, eh? Sounds legit. Jimmy, no! Have you lost your freaking mind? 
You're betting our house on a stupid drinking game? I won't let you do it. Ooh, shh. Shut up, you drunken mooch. Cookies are right. They're baiting you, Jimmy. You can't win. Hosers always think three beers ahead. I gotta do this. I can't live this way no more. Also, I'm kind of thirsty. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> uh. Ha! Nice one, Jimmy. <laughs> oh. Okay. No, just a uh, false alarm. It's down to four beers. Two beers, Jimmy. Two. Shut up, my cools. Pack her up, eh? You've been hosed. Not so fast. I wanted to study the effects of imported beer on hoser physiology. Everyone knows a genuine hoser's body will reject any beer that isn't brewed in Canada. You've been drinking American beer. You hosers are posers. So what? Bet's a bet, eh? And we won. That may be the case, but you will no longer enjoy the protective embrace of the Heritage Protection Council of Canada. Hosers are endangered, but goofball louts like you are a dime a dozen. You boys are on your own. Good day, eh? Well, Jimmy, looks like you better start packing. That was pathetic. I can't believe you lost! Who knew the Moose Jaw milkmaids would be so freaking tough? Oh, look at that hot chick, eh? I'd sure like to slip a puck past her goalie. What did you say? Ah, finally disposed of that toxic waste, Jimmy? Yeah. Yeah, that's it, toxic waste. <laughs> La 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 la